I have gone 178 hours without food. A little over seven days ago, I started at 273 pounds and with a body fat of 37.6. It is now November 1st. I am now 256.8 pounds. My body fat is 35.1 and yeah. So I have lost a little over 16 pounds and two and a half, 2.5 percent body fat in one week. All right, let's stop there. So yes, I did go seven days without eating and did a water fast. It was great. We had a fun time. I could smell food through walls. Now here is the aftermath of doing a water fast for seven days. Now it's actually been roughly a week since I have done a water fast and I of course have gained weight. I've gained roughly about I think five pounds back from the water fasting. So not too bad, not too shabby, which I kind of planned or thought was gonna happen because you go seven days without food. <laughs> when you eat again, things are gonna happen. But before I continue, hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, how you doing? Welcome to the mess. I like to do challenges, physical challenges, mental challenges, food challenges, while kind of dabbling in skincare and giving tips on that in lifestyle videos. I'm not really sure, but welcome to the mess. So this video is gonna be basically what happened afterwards. It's been a week now, the refeeding process, yada 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 so when you fast longer than seven days or seven days is like when you need to start actually doing this you need to go through a basically a refeeding process so you don't mess your stomach up and you don't hurt yourself so for three days after i did the water fast i had to slowly introduce food back day one was mostly broth protein shakes some like green juice that was pressed, maybe some fruit, but not really. And I think I had jello. And then roughly you need to cut your calories in half. That's what I've learned and from what I researched, where your normal amount of calories, you cut that in half until after three days, just to get your body used to having food in your system. So yeah, day one was not the greatest. I really wanted to just eat a cheeseburger, but I could not do that. No, 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 no. Otherwise we would hurt ourselves and we weren't looking for that. No, not today. What was like my thoughts about day one? Day one sucked and I didn't really find that much interesting. doesn't really taste like anything. When I was looking at people's refeeding process, they would like film their first time having food again, which normally you break with like bone broth or something kind of like that, a liquid. And I, maybe I just got a wrong brand, but from like all the videos watching, people were like going crazy. They were super excited. Like it tasted like the best thing in their entire life. And literally looking like they just had an orgasm on camera, drinking bone broth. Now, I wasn't expecting much, but I was expecting at least half that kind of reaction for myself. And I didn't. I did not find anything interesting about the food. Maybe it's just the brand that I got or how I made it or whatever, but food was not interesting when I first had it. When I reintroduced food, maybe my taste buds were just like, we're never gonna eat again. So let's just turn off. And it didn't taste great. I, it didn't wasn't groundbreaking or anything or mind blowing. It just was broth. It just was juice. And I still hated the juice. I was kind of hoping my taste buds would change where, you know, maybe we like the green press juice. I can really taste the lemon. It's really sour. We didn't. I, I, I did not like it at all. The only difference I could tell was that I could really taste some ingredients that would actually overpower the drink for me to the point where it just became too much. Like they had lemon in the juice 
and it just tasted straight up sour to me. So I couldn't finish the juice. So that was interesting. But I need to find out what they had because my first time having food was trash. Like even fruit sucked. So day two, I did allow myself to have fruit, jello, and I think I introduced eggs. Fruit was actually really sweet to me to the point where like it was basically like candy. It was just overpowering. It was just a lot. I still liked it, but it was just, it was just too much. I just was not enjoying it. Um, watermelon was okay, because it's mostly water. I want to say the thing I probably enjoyed the most through this entire thing was anything savory. So I had eggs for the first time. Those were actually really good. I don't know what the, the broth was about, but the eggs were amazing. Really enjoyed the eggs. So anything savory, I was all for. Uh, I even had jello. The jello just tasted really fake, very processed. Didn't really enjoy it either. But my stomach was feeling better. So I'm like, okay, we can do this. And I think on day two, for day three, I did make homemade turkey chili um, with more like tomatoes, so it's a little bit softer. So I did that. So day three, once again, I think for breakfast, I had watermelon and eggs. And then dinner, I had a bowl of the chili with a little bit of cheese and I think sour cream. Yeah, so the first three days were fine. I did not harm myself, I did not die. I will feel extremely full, very full fast though and I could go hours without eating so that was actually a great thing too because I hate bodily functions so not feeling hunger is amazing my takeaway from fasting would I do this again I would not do seven days again I don't think I would unless something else that happens and I have another like quarter life crisis or midlife crisis and I'm like yeah let's just go seven days without eating again um, amazing and there was some pros to it i do feel way in more control of my body and my hunger and i can now figure out what is the difference between bored hunger and actual hunger and then even sometimes i feel like i just have more self-control and like at work uh we have a bunch of food places near me and i'm like i'm hungry i think i am at least I can go next door and get some food, but I'm like, but we're trying to save money, so we can't. And I'm like, but my shift doesn't end for another five hours. But then I'm like, girl, if we can go seven days without food, we can last five hours. Whole new sense of control over my body, and I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's, it's a great time. I'm enjoying this time. I love feeling in control. I feel... Like, I can tell myself no for certain foods. Like, there is no such thing as a bad food. There is food that, you know, you should have less of than others. And, I mean, actually, there is some bad food. Like, Twinkies. That's just bad because that's just straight up trash. I don't know what that is. A Twinkie is not food. It's not food. It's bleh. You know, we are allowed to have one piece of dark chocolate. We don't need ten. And, like, I don't know. I just feel this confidence over myself and of my body like we can accomplish anything now you give me a goal you give me a challenge i'm gonna finish it with no problem and i'm i'm pumped i'm excited i don't know i'm just loving this control over my body and my hunger and everything so i would say this uh experiment went well definitely my mind is a way more clear i definitely feel more clarity over my body and clarity over everything that happened. Um, I'm very inspired, very motivated now. I'm kind of out of my funk. I will admit that, you know, I'm still questioning things in my life. Like if you saw my little breakdown <laughs> in my video, in like the first three minutes where I'm just not happy. And I kind of figured out like, you know, yes, right now I am not happy with my life. I'm not happy with my life choices and I'm just, not a happy person and I need to figure out what makes me happy I need to figure out what I want in my life what I need to do and just start making steps to get into that point uh it may be short-term goals I may not know what I want in three years and that's okay I've realized like it's okay not to have everything planned it's having a process and everything but I've kind of taken a step back, especially this past week, where I was really focusing on myself and my mental health and basically being like, you know what? 
It's okay that we don't know what's happening in three years. It's okay that we don't even know what's happening next year. Right now it's 2020. It's trash. 2020 is trash right now. And like, it's okay that right now I don't know what I want in my life. It's okay to not know exactly everything that's happening. And right now it's okay to not be okay. It's okay not to be happy. I need to take time and figure out what makes me happy. What do I love about myself? I need to learn self-love because I've never learned that. I was never taught self-love. And now as an adult, I have to basically start from ground zero and rebuild and figure out what I want. And that is okay. You don't need to be 100%. You don't need to know everything. But the fact that I recognize that something's wrong and that I recognize that I need to focus on myself and my health is okay. And I hope someone realizes that too, that every, whoever watches this, cause you know, I'm a small YouTuber. No one knows who I am. I got like 200 people following me. It's okay. But I want to at least have my voice reach at least one of you guys that it's okay to not be okay and that we're in this together. We're gonna struggle. We're, we're a mess. Everyone's a mess. No one's perfect. Everyone is a mess. Just some people are a cleaner mess than others and that is okay. <laughs> so um, would not do seven days fasting again. Not really, um, but I would be willing, I'm gonna continue doing fasting for just like, you know, mental reasons. It's nice, I feel more in control. If I start realizing that I'm doing it in an unhealthy way, then yeah, definitely I'll stop. But uh, yes, so refeeding, I highly suggest you do some research, figure out what you need to do, figure out um, what works best with you because everyone's body is different. I'll be starting a new challenge this week after I'm done fasting again for the 60 hours. So we'll see how that goes. So I will see you guys next week. Make good choices, follow your dreams. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.